Welcome to Max Public Land Hunting Outdoors. Today we're going fox school hunting. Kind of crazy. It's about 80 degrees. I should be fishing somewhere, but we're going squirrel hunting. I have my mind made up to go, so we're going. Um, let's hope we can see some. Uh, shoot some gray squirrels maybe as well, but let's try to get us a big old black or red fox squirrel. Got my 20 gauge. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. up everyone I made it to my fox squirrel woods now this is in eastern North Carolina now if you aren't familiar with eastern North Carolina the eastern North Carolina fox squirrel is different than the fox squirrels found across the rest of the country these range from southeastern Virginia through eastern some of the Piedmont of North Carolina down through eastern South Carolina Georgia part of Florida the ones you find farther west are you know western North Carolina um, Western Georgia, Alabama, that are a totally different fox squirrel. These fox squirrels love big lonely pines, burned areas, his open forest. They will go into loblollies forest and bottomlands some, but the lonely pine forest is prime habitat. It's the biggest fox squirrel out of about 10 subspecies. Today, I've got my favorite gun for them. It's a 37A Winchester, 20 gauge. I'm gonna go and load it, number six. Two and three quarter inch shot. Also got some high brass number sixes. Excuse me, that's a number four. But I carry a few fours and six high brass with me. What else I'm carrying today is about 80 degrees. Carry some bug spray. Normally I have a thermosil with bug spray. I'm gonna have today. I'm not gonna be walking around much because the woods are dry. I'm gonna go to spots I know they're at where I see signs of them. I'm gonna sit. So I've got my chair. Sometimes I carry a bucket. Got my backpack, it's got a lot of things in it. Got a flashlight, got coals in it, got a knife in it, all that good stuff. Let's get busy and let's go see if we can find some fox squirrels. Hey guys, I've also got my, forgot, I got my walkers. I haven't put them on yet, but when I get to where I'm sitting, I'm gonna put them on my walkers game ears on. This right here is a fire break. When they bulldoze it, when they burn these forests, they burn, these are good to walk. Sometimes as well. I'm not gonna walk this one, um, but those are good to walk. Uh, sometimes when it's quiet and it's not as crunchy, really good to walk the fire breaks. Uh, but let's get busy and let's go get one. So this isn't quite as open as the lonely pines and the wire grass where they burn it. But it's still pretty open in places, and it gets really thick. They like this area right here this time of year. I know it's a good spot. I'm gonna go down here and sit for a while. Hey guys, there's several ways you can squirrel hunt. One is to still hunt, just walking slowly, stopping every now and then and looking. Keep repeating that. Or you can go sit three or four different spots for 15, 30 minutes and hunt those. But today it's so crunchy. I know this is a good spot. I'm gonna sit in one spot all evening. This is a transition area between the lonely pine forest to my right and the thick bottom land to the left. It's a mixture of pines and um, hardwood, so it's a great spot. Okay guys, I, I found a good spot to sit. I just know over years of hunting these, that this is a good area. I'm not gonna see one right on top of me. 50, 60 yards that way, 50, 60 yards that way. I may have to chase him, wait till he goes up a tree and run to that tree. I've got my rappel out. I've got my water out. I'm gonna put this camera you're looking at now on my gun. I'm gonna mount it to the barrel of my gun so you can see me shoot him. So stay tuned, hopefully we'll see one. 
Hey guys, I heard one come up the hill right there. He's very hard to see, even in this high quality video. He's at the bottom right, kind of in that thick stuff. Just a little to the right of center. Very hard to see. Okay guys, the 20 gauge did it, number 6 shot, 2 and 3 quarters, 30 yard shot, we've been here, we've been about 2 hours sitting here, I fell asleep a couple of times, but I heard one come up the hill, I looked, I could barely see him, he jumped up on the side of a dogwood tree, and then he jumped down, started going a little away from the again so I shot him uh, let's go take a look at him awesome got a beautiful beautiful red tail I'll probably get this one mounted instead of eating them uh, this one's gonna make a beautiful mount even though it's early in the year the fur is not as thick but this one there's nothing wrong with them 30 yards I'm telling you these pellets shotguns do less damage when you're that far away than a 22 a lot less damage, just little bitty holes. Taxidermist has no problem with them little bitty holes. Okay guys, let's go take a look at him. You probably couldn't see in the video, he said so far away I shot. Um, but to tell you something, when you're hunting pop squirrels, look for them on the ground more than in the trees. Every now and then I'll sit in a spot and it'll be one in the trees that has seen me walk in then after I sit a while, they start moving. But they spend more time on the ground than they do the trees. Trust me about that. Let's go take a look at them. Beautiful red one. Just a beautiful specimen. If people don't see me no bad remarks, these things are sustainable resource. They're expanding in North Carolina. There's plenty of them where you hunt them. Right there. Beautiful red ones, got a beautiful tail on them. Uh, let's get out of these woods and um, I'll show you some, with some better pictures of them. Okay guys, here it is. Look at that beautiful red tail. He's got a black head. Nice spot squirrel. Not the biggest one I've ever shot, but he's not the scrawniest one either. Beautiful, beautiful tail on him. My favorite 20 gauge did the job. He's probably out the way when we get home. I'll put it in the caption. I've killed him up three and a half pounds. He's two and a half pushing three at least. Anyway, beautiful fox squirrel. I'm probably going to mount that one. Look at that tail. Just a beautiful tail on it. Um, I've killed him with tails 17 and a half inches long and the body 17 inches long for 34 and a half inch long fox squirrel. This one. He's not that long. But nice red tail. There's a lot of black ones. North Carolina's full of black ones. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Do me a favor. Get out in the woods eat them whatever i think i'm gonna mount this one though uh, it's a sustainable resource just have fun and do me a favor guys hit the subscribe button right there and i'll see everybody next time thanks for watching Woo!